After the miracle of the multiplication of the loaves and fishes, Jesus realized that the crowd was satisfied both spiritually and physically. The sun began to set on the horizon, painting the sky with soft shades of orange and pink. Although the environment was calm, Jesus knew he needed some time alone to pray and reflect in communion with the Father. Jesus then instructed his disciples to get into the boat and head to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, while he dispersed the people. Despite some initial doubts, the disciples obeyed, confident in their master's wisdom. Little did they know what awaited them that night. With the crowd dispersed and the disciples rowing, Jesus went up the mountain to pray. The stillness of the night enveloped him, and he devoted himself to prayer. During this time, he interceded for his disciples, aware of the challenges and trials they were about to face. As Jesus prayed, a sudden storm struck the disciples in the middle of the sea. Strong winds and violent waves rocked the boat, and despite being experienced fishermen, the disciples felt tension and fear grow as they struggled against the forces of nature. The boat seemed tiny against the fury of the storm. The disciples struggled to keep the boat steady, but the gusts of wind and the water flooding the boat made the task nearly impossible. Tension and worry were evident on their faces. Amid the chaos and fear, they cried out and tried to hold on to hope, but the situation seemed bleak. Peter, remembering Jesus' teachings about faith, prayed silently for strength and protection. At that moment, he felt an inner peace, a reminder that even though Jesus was physically absent, he was with them in spirit. At the most critical moment of the night, something extraordinary happened. In the midst of the storm, a figure appeared walking on the raging waters. The disciples were stunned, unable to comprehend what they were seeing. Terrified, they shouted, it's a ghost. Fear gripped them, as they had never witnessed anything so supernatural. But amid the noise of the wind and the waves, a familiar and serene voice echoed, take courage. It is I, don't be afraid. Jesus' words cut through the darkness and brought immediate comfort to the disciples' troubled hearts. The fear began to wane, replaced by a sense of hope. Peter, moved by faith and the desire to draw closer to Jesus, exclaimed, Lord, if it's you, tell me to come to you on the water. It was a bold request, full of confidence. Peter wanted to experience Jesus' closeness in a new and remarkable way. Jesus, with an encouraging look, simply replied, Come. Those words filled Peter with courage. He knew that what he was about to do would not be by his own strength, but by the power of Jesus. With his eyes fixed on the Master, Peter got out of the boat and, to everyone's surprise, including his own, began to walk on the water. The waves, which had previously seemed threatening, now supported his steps as he kept his attention on Jesus. Each step Peter took was an act of faith. As long as his eyes were on Jesus, the turbulent waters did not affect him. The other disciples, in the boat, watched in silence, amazed by what they were witnessing. However, a moment of distraction came. Peter began to notice the wind and the waves again. As he shifted his gaze from Jesus, he immediately started to sink. The fear that had been suppressed came back, and Peter felt himself sinking into the water. In desperation, Peter cried out, Lord, save me. Even in his doubt, he knew where to turn. His cry was an act of faith, even amid his uncertainty. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and took hold of Peter, lifting him from the stormy waters. You of little faith, Jesus said, why did you doubt? Jesus' words were not a rebuke, but a reminder that faith needed to overcome fear. Together, Jesus and Peter returned to the boat. As soon as they entered, the wind ceased, and the waters calmed. The storm that had so terrified them was replaced by a profound peace. The disciples, awed by what they had witnessed, worshipped Jesus and said, Truly you are the Son of God. That night's experience had left a mark on their lives, demonstrating Jesus' power over nature and their own weaknesses. Peter's walk on the water became a lesson in faith, showing that even amid life storms, it is essential to keep our focus on Jesus. When we become distracted by difficulties, fear can cause us to sink. But trust in Christ enables us to face the impossible. The bond among the disciples was strengthened after the experience. They realized that with Jesus by their side, they could face any challenge. The shared faith they had was a source of encouragement and support. Peter, who began the night full of uncertainties, ended as an example of faith and courage for his companions. His experience would serve as an inspiration for the church that would form from his teachings. Jesus' prayer before the storm highlighted the importance of spiritual preparation. The disciples' faith was renewed, and their trust in Jesus deepened, preparing them for future challenges in their mission to spread the gospel. After the miracle of feeding the five thousand with loaves and fishes, Jesus saw that the crowd was both physically and spiritually satisfied. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting the sky in delicate hues of orange and pink. The scene was tranquil, but Jesus understood the need for solitude to pray and reconnect with the Father. 
he instructed his disciples to board a boat and sail to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, while he sent the crowds away. Although the disciples had initial reservations, they trusted their master's command and set off across the water. Unbeknownst to them, the night would bring challenges they had never anticipated. As the disciples made their way across the sea, Jesus ascended a nearby mountain to pray. The stillness of the evening wrapped around him, and he immersed himself in prayer. He interceded on behalf of his disciples, knowing that they would soon face trials that would test their faith. Meanwhile, the disciples struggled against a sudden and violent storm. The wind howled and the waves crashed against the boat, tossing it about violently. Despite their expertise as fishermen, the storm's ferocity overwhelmed them, and fear began to take hold as they fought to keep the boat from capsizing. The situation on the boat grew increasingly desperate. The disciples tried to maintain control, but the waves surged over the sides, and the wind threatened to tear the boat apart. Their faces were etched with worry and exhaustion, and their cries for help were drowned out by the storm's roar. Amid the turmoil, Peter recalled Jesus' teachings about faith. Quietly, he prayed for strength and protection. In that moment, he felt a profound sense of peace, a reminder that even though Jesus was not physically present, he was with them in spirit. As the storm raged on, a remarkable event occurred. In the midst of the storm's chaos, a figure appeared walking on the water. The disciples were astounded and bewildered by this supernatural sight. Fear gripped them, and they exclaimed, It's a ghost! Their terror was palpable, as they had never seen anything like it. In the midst of the storm's clamor, a familiar voice cut through the noise, Take courage! It is I, don't be afraid. Jesus' calming words brought immediate comfort to the disciples' frightened hearts. The fear began to recede, replaced by a glimmer of hope. Peter, driven by faith and a desire to be closer to Jesus, called out, Lord, if it's you, tell me to come to you on the water. It was a bold and confident request. Peter sought to experience Jesus' presence in a profound and extraordinary way. Jesus responded with a single word, Come. Those words imbued Peter with the courage to act. He knew that stepping out of the boat would not be by his own strength, but by the power of Jesus. With his eyes locked on Jesus, Peter stepped out of the boat and began to walk on the water. The waves, which had seemed menacing moments before, now seemed to support his steps. The disciples watched in awe as Peter moved forward, his faith turning the impossible into reality. Each step Peter took was a testament to his faith. As long as he focused on Jesus, the turbulent waters did not deter him. The other disciples, witnessing this miraculous event, were speechless, their amazement evident as they watched Peter's faith in action. However, a moment of distraction occurred. Peter began to notice the strength of the wind and the size of the waves. As his focus shifted from Jesus to the storm, he began to sink. The fear that had momentarily subsided surged back, and Peter felt himself being pulled under the water. In a moment of desperation, Peter cried out, Lord, save me. Even in his doubt, he knew that Jesus was the only one who could help him. His cry was a profound act of faith, acknowledging his need for divine intervention. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and grasped Peter, pulling him up from the stormy waters. You of little faith, Jesus said gently, why did you doubt? The words were not a rebuke but a gentle reminder that faith must overcome fear. Jesus and Peter then returned to the boat together. As they climbed in, the storm subsided, and the waters became calm. The terrifying tempest was replaced by a profound sense of peace, a testament to Jesus' power over nature and their fears. The disciples, awestruck by what they had witnessed, worshipped Jesus, proclaiming, Truly you are the Son of God. The night's events left a lasting impression on their lives, reinforcing their belief in Jesus' divine authority and his power to overcome the forces of nature. Peter's walk on the water became a powerful lesson in faith. It illustrated that even amidst life's storms, maintaining focus on Jesus is crucial. Distractions and fears can cause us to falter, but trust in Christ empowers us to face the impossible. The experience also strengthened the bond among the disciples. They realized that with Jesus by their side, they could confront any challenge. Their shared faith became a source of mutual encouragement and support. Peter, who began the night full of uncertainty, emerged as a symbol of faith and courage for his companions. His experience would inspire the early church and become a significant lesson in the teachings of Jesus. Jesus' time of prayer before the storm highlighted the importance of spiritual preparation. The disciples' faith was renewed, and their trust in Jesus deepened, equipping them for future challenges in their mission to spread the gospel.